Hello, everyone. Um, I've heard talk that the foil quill can do some fun things. So I'm gonna try it. But first I want to explain what I'm doing and why. Um, this is one of my albums. And can you see that? That is, I don't wanna make it too close up on the thing, but that is iron on. And I've always been one to want to label my albums. And back in the day, um, and a company that I get this album from used to do um, where you could personalize your albums. And this is one from way back when. This is my daughter's school album. And it's, um, it's like printed on there. It was persona imprinting. So it had like a book here. It had her name on the bottom. And it's smooth. It's Well, it's not smooth, but smoother than iron-on. And they went away. So since they went away, I have been doing iron-on. But I'm told, and I haven't tried it, we're gonna do it together, that the foil quill can do that same effect as the imprinting that they used to do on the albums. So, we're gonna try it. This is my, um, our vacation album from 2018. We went on a cruise to Alaska with my in-laws. So I'm going to foil quill on the spine. So we're going to um, see if it works, because why not? And I hope it works because I don't have another spine to do if I ruin it. So we're just gonna go for it. So we're gonna go to Design Space. We're going to design um, what I wanna put on here. Then we're gonna use the snap mat um, to place it where I want it. And then we're gonna use the foil quill and see how it works. So let's go to Design Space. Okay, so here we are at my computer and I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger. Um, I, want, I want an image, and you can see I've already searched here for a little bit. Um, I just put in Cruise and I'm trying to pick one. So this is kind of cute actually. Um, so if I put it on the mat, now we have to change it because it's not going to be um, a cut and it's not gonna be in different colors. So, um, I'm going to go to color sync and I'm going to make it all one color. So now it's all one color and then I'm going to change it to draw. So that's what's going to draw and I don't know that I, I like that. I don't, I don't think these are going to, I don't like it. So it's not, let me see if I can ungroup. Okay, so I ungrouped it, and then I'm going, ooh, it won't let me. So I'm gonna contour down here. I see I clicked these down here, so it's just this section here. And actually, I don't even need to contour because I know that these are the things I don't want. So I can just delete them, and that leaves me with just my anchor. So that worked out well. And then I want some text, and it has to be with a writing style because we're writing this. So I'm gonna put Alaska Cruise 2018 and one, because this is book one. There's going to be more, there's gonna be two. Um, so then I want it centered and I want, okay, so I want the word cruise to be a little closer to Alaska and 2018 to be a little closer as well. So you can do this line spacing here and move them up like so. 
until you get to where you want. Okay. But to me, the, the spacing here doesn't look the same as the spacing between Cruz and Alaska. So I'm just lining it up on the line so I know I have about um, one little set of squares and there is just almost one little set of squares. So it's just the way it's visually looking right now that it's, um, that it's lined up. And I am going to, after I finalize what I want, I'm going to copy this, change this to a two so that I'm ready to go when I start album number two, assuming that this works. So we need to change this to a writing and that's okay. It's not, I don't know that I like that font. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to, I clicked on, um, let me back up. I'm, I'm clicked on my font and then I clicked on the drop down here font. And then I'm going to filter over here to writing fonts. So it's only going to show me fonts that have writing style. And we're just going to scroll through and find one that I kind of like. And yes, I could have already done all of this, but I wanted you to, to see how to do it. So um, let's look at that one. I like that. This is um, a close to my heart. It's from um, the Flower Market Cart Flower Market Cartridge. Um, it is part of Cricut Access right now, um, so that's good. Now I know that um, th I can't go this wide. My spine is not that wide. So to line things up, I'm going to temporarily add a square. And I know my album is a 12 by 12 album, so I'm going to um, unlock this here. And I'm going to come up here. I could have unlocked it right here. I know that my height of my spine is 12 inches. And I know that my area to um, put writing on is 2 inches. So I have this. That's 2 by 12. And I'm going to change the color just so it's a little bit easier to see to see things on. So if I put, I need to move this to the front. If I put my anchor up towards the top, I need to resize it. And then my words, I need to move those to the front, are going to come down towards the bottom. And I know right off the bat, I can go up here that I need to go like 1.75 to make that fit within that two inches. Okay. So I'm going to now select all because I'm going to, um, how am I going to explain this? Oh, that's a little close. So I'm going to move, actually move this down. So you need to visualize what you're doing first off. I'm going to move that to here. And while I'm thinking about it, I'm going to duplicate this. So I'm ready. For, oops, not that. For our album number two. I'm going to double click on it and I'm going to change that to a two. So that I have everything exactly the same. Okay when I go to do album number two. But for this one right now, I'm not ready to do that. I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and hide that. So I'm going to visualize just kind of what this is going to look like, like so. So now I'm going to save this because we're going to go over to um, Snap Matte. Alaska Cruise Album Spine. I don't want that to be public and I'm going to save it. So now when I go to SnapMat, it's going to be in my projects for 
snap mat as well. But before I do that, because I forgot, I don't need this square. This was just for me to visualize and see um, how I wanted to line things up and that things were going to fit where I wanted them to. So for sizing, I was able to size the anchor and I was able to then size my, um, my font on how I wanted it. Oh, this is something else I was going to show you. I can then select all, okay, and I am going to attach, which means when I go to print this, Oop, not attach. I went ahead of myself. I'm going to align it. So I'm going to select all and I'm going to align it. So it's all, so those two things are centered. So I don't have to worry about lining them up visually here in a minute. Then I'm going to group them so that they stay to get not group. Oops. I'm going to attach them. So select all and attach. And what attach does is it tells Design Space that when I go and I click Make It, that I want these two things, because I'm going to hide the, um, it's not going to let me hide this. Um, boom. So it's telling me, it's going to tell Design Space that these two things are to be lined up exactly like that when I go to make it. And because I hid my little sizing square there, it, um, it's not going to try and cut that or, or do anything with that. So this is now ready to go and I'm going to save it again. So then when we move on over to, to the snap map, it's going to be ready to go. Okay, actually before we go over to the snap map, portion of this, I wanted to show you how I'm setting this up. I put my spine on my Cricut mat and up in the corner, you know, straight across, and then I taped it down. My mat is brand new and it is perfectly sticky, but I do not want this to move. And then I took a piece of the foil for the foil quill to write on, and I have um, cut it larger than what my anchor is going to be because if there's tape, where the quill goes, it's not gonna go through that. So I need to tape it onto my album spine outside, and my two inches is between the four and the six. So it needs to be, there needs to be no tape there. And then down here, where I'm going to have my writing, I again cut this piece of foil bigger, and I'm going to tape it down to my album spine as well. You do not want this to move while it is working. Now I'm just using regular painter's tape. It seems to be really, really great for crafting because it comes off really easy and it's easy to tear, which is my favorite thing. So I'm just taping it down onto my Fine, and I bubbled that one up, but that's okay because it's not gonna be where my um, quill is writing. Okay, so now let's head on over to Snapmat. So as you can see, we're not on Snapmat. Um, my phone will not allow me to switch to. Um, projects on, in the cloud versus projects on my phone. So we're just going to roll with it. I told you we were doing this for the first time together. So I will play with um, SnapMat later, but we can do this totally this way. I know from when we just looked at my mat that my two inches on my, on my album piece are between four and six. So that's easy enough. When I click make it, I can then move this over between the four and the six. And I can just visualize um, where it is gonna go. And what I'm doing is see the one, I am lining that up with the, uh, the line 
for 11 inches. And why I am doing that is because I know that my album spine is 12 inches. And then this will give me something I can use to then line up when I do album number two. I'll just line up the number two in the same spot. Now, does this need to be absolutely perfect between the four and the six? Nope, because I can bend my spine if I'm a little bit off. But I think it actually looks okay. I might move it a smidge more to the right, but I think I'm okay. And my one is centered right on that line and we know that we, we centered these together. So let's go ahead and click make it. I have been warming up my foil quill um, while this has been happening. So now we're gonna switch back over to the machine and going to watch it work and let's cross our fingers that it does. Okay. Here we go. I'm going to move this camera so you can um, see my machine. Hopefully my um, light source doesn't get in the way. So I'm going back over here to Design Space. And I'm going to tell it that we are um, just using cardstock. It's not going to matter because we're using a pen. My light is flashing. Oh, this works. Oh, and I took out, I need to take out my little heat shield. Dun, dun, dun. Here goes nothing. If this works, I'm gonna be so excited. This changes everything on um, personalizing my albums. It's wanting me to change pins. That's okay. So I just say okay. Oh, I'm excited. Like I said, this is my only spine. So if this doesn't work, I'm gonna have to get a new spine. You guys as nervous as me? I'm very nervous. Okay. Let us see. So let me move my camera. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, there's a glare. Oh, I need to put this heat shield back under my foil quill. I'm scared to look. Are you scared to look? I'm scared to look. Oh, you guys look. It's beautiful. It worked, you see? This is a game changer. Don't get me wrong, I love my iron on. But this, let me get it off of here and I'll pick it up and show you. Well, I'll just leave it on. Look, it's beautiful and it worked. Okay, found a whole new use for my foil quill right now. I'm going to go and redo all my, not the ones I've already put iron on, but oh my goodness. Okay, I'm going to put links to the foil quill um, in the, um, the links for this video or in the comment part of this video. If you would like to get one, I used the medium quill and the silver foil. They have gold as well. They have other colors, but I, this one was the silver that I used. 
So yeah, I'm excited. Please, please, please share your thoughts on what you think about this because holy cow, I am beyond. This is gonna look so amazing on my shelf. All right, so I have to go and show my husband this because I'm beyond excited. So thanks for watching. Please click the link below if you would like to purchase this uh, foil quill. And um, I will earn a very small commission if you do, but um, it doesn't cost you any more if you do that. So thanks for watching. Please come back if you haven't clicked sub subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please do that as well and have a wonderful evening.